three months into cap treatment, and is the height real? Absolutely. <laughs> like, without a doubt, I haven't seen improvement like this with anything else I've tried. I can definitely say that from everything that I've seen with myself and other people who have gone through cap treatment and currently going through cap treatment, cap treatment is the most efficient way to heal from topical steroid withdrawal. So I'm saying that because there's a lot of misconceptions out there. It honestly, when I first looked at it, it felt a bit culty just because there was no information. It was all kind of it felt secretive. But in reality, like when you get here, when you start talking to the guy who runs the clinic, Jay, he he's so open and with absolutely everything. Like if anyone wants to learn about cap treatment, he's giving away all of his trade secrets. Like the guy wants to retire as soon as possible. With the correct advice, every single person does get better. There have been people out there who have had issues with cap treatment, they're saying it's the worst thing they've ever done, but I'll run through the reasons why it hasn't been helping certain people uh, later on in the video. And it's there's clear explanation as to why, um, but with the right advice and following the right process and doing the right things in your environment, absolutely everyone improves. It's, this is, it's, it still feels too good to be true. Before I came here, it felt too good to be true and uh, it still feels that way. One of the best things about cap treatment is, it, unlike Dupixin and Rinvoc and any other sort of drugs that are on the market, it's not a mask. We're, it's genuinely fixing the skin. To run you through what cap treatment is, there's sort of three key elements to it. And the first of all is the treatment itself using the machine. And it's like this little metal vibrating thing that rubs on your skin, which comes from this bigger machine. Um, and it does, um, it puts, it essentially puts cold atmospheric plasma into our body. And what that does is make it so that the skin cells um, sort of speed up and start to regenerate faster. Uh, and on top of that, it's it's killing bacteria and on 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 our skin as well. Um, so by doing that, we're constantly keeping our our skin kind of like I guess sterile, clean from bacteria each week. Um, and each week we go, it is uh, speeding up the the healing rate and speeding up that skin proliferation. Um, the second super super important element is the irritants and chemicals. Um, that are, and allergens that are in your environment. So making sure that whatever environment you're in, you're, it's it's free from from chemicals. So that could be cleaning products, it could be deodorant, air freshness, all of those things you cannot be using at all. Because when we've got topical steroid withdrawal and topical steroid dependent skin, it is so thin that we just our our skin can't protect itself from anything. It just reacts to everything. It's super, super sensitive. So making sure your environment is clear of everything um, is, is super important. And what they say is if, if you're actually wanting to clean your house, which we all need to do, we need to be able to clean our house, you need to use hot water. So instead of uh, using uh, a detergent or like a um, uh, instead of using spray and wipe and those kind of things. So anything you touch, try to make clean from irritants, chemicals, etc. And so that, that goes for when you're outside the house too. Um, like I, I don't leave the house, I only ever leave the house to go to the clinic and if I have to go on a visa run, because here in Thailand you can only um, be here for 60 days before they ask you before you have to leave. So you have to do a visa run, leave, and then come back. When you do go out though, like my partner's with me all the time. She's opening doors for me. She's touching the lift buttons. She's even putting on my seatbelt. And the third key element of cap treatment is the serum. It's the serum that is used here at the clinic is, um, has 12 amino acids in it. So it's giving our skin heaps and heaps of nutrients in order for it to encourage skin cell growth and skin proliferation. So our skin turns over and it gets thicker and thicker and thicker. And so with all those, those three key elements uh, being done, every single person improves. But each time we're doing the cap treatment and we're using the, the plasma is being put into our body, each week it improves our healing rate. So 
when I first got to the clinic, it probably would have been around about 50% the speed of a regular, someone with regular skin. Um, and my skin thickness was probably like 50-55% of someone who had regular skin thickness. And it's what we're doing is by, by using the serum and the cat, the cat machine is building up the healing rate and building up the skin thickness as time goes on. So eventually I start out quite red and then it'll get better and better and I'll have really white pasty skin because I haven't been outside at all. Um, so it's getting better. There's definitely element parts of my, of my skin that are still a bit red. Um, so you could say that the skin is still thinner in those areas. And then the there are other areas that are looking almost like normal skin, which is just incredible. There's two other key areas of cap treatment and topical steroid withdrawal which are often misunderstood. Uh, so the first is hardened skin. So when we're going to the doctors, um, they, for me anyway, and a lot of other people, they generally will just tell us to start using this sort of like high paraffin based cream. And there's other ones as well, like lotions and sort of thicker creams that, um, that can cause issues. Um, so we're, when the, the doctors are telling us to use these paraffin based creams and thicker creams, we're loading our skin up and what it does is naturally it starts to create like a bit of a barrier and almost like a protection to it and it creates this thick layer of skin. Um, and with, with, the hardened, with people who have hardened skin, it's much, much harder for them to go back to having normal skin. It's highly unlikely. Um, the other key element is that is, that is often missed is fungal infections. And there's a specific fungal infection that is developed with from which is de developed from the use of topical steroids. It's called tinea incognito. And if the fungal infection is not dealt with, then you will not people will not heal from TSW. There's people who've done 200 sessions of cap treatment, and because they didn't treat the fungal infection, they're unable to heal. Most people get to a sort of a living state after about 26 sessions, about six months worth of sessions. They get to a real, like a pretty good living state. My experience to start with, I was super, super, super flaky. Like I, I came here, they started uh, doing the, the treatment um, and using the serum and my skin just blew out. It was like I was back to doing no mo moisture treatment, day one of TSW kind of, kind of thing where it was just, unbelievably flaky um, and the house was covered just covered in flakes uh, and on top of that um, after about sort of four days or so I developed a um, started developing like weepiness in the areas that of my skin that were quite thin so what's happened is over time each week um, I've slowly gotten better and better and it's just um, it's just been absolutely incredible. I, I can walk around. Like yesterday, I went for a four-hour walk. Like there, I couldn't have gone walked for five minutes when I was when I first arrived. Um, so I'm, that is a huge, huge, huge change. I'm now being able to sit in aircon. It took me about ten weeks. Other people, it's about four weeks or so before they can sort of sit in aircon quite comfortably. Other people are fine with it, but. For me, that's just a huge sign of how much my body has healed because I hated aircon, hated. I wouldn't go into stores. Airplane trips were just the worst things in the world. Like it was just pure torture sitting in aircon. Uh, what I want to show you now is just some some videos of um, sort of my progress and uh, some videos of how I've like my thoughts and and what I was going through as I went through week to week. It's been four days since I had my treatment, my skin is so dry, like my hands are all like flaking up and stuff. Um, Jay and my feet are the same, they were just really bad, I've just been scratching here, but like that, all that skin is, it's gonna flake up soon and just all come off. In reality, it's been really, really hard few days. Um, and I just feel like a dried sponge every time I wake up. Today, I'm having my fourth treatment and I was really hoping my face would be better by the time it came around to this treatment, but it's not. Um, it's just really weepy. I have been using my cream, which generally helps me with weep and helps keeps infections away. I got an infection here in this big dry sort of section now got an infection all the way across there and the cream 
helps get rid of that pretty quickly um, but it's it's just sort of taking a while for it to, to heal over in other areas I'm seeing improvements again around my torso and and uh, my overall skin color on a torso and arms and stuff is a lot more white which is um, which is good to see we are now I'm going to my seventh session I believe again it's I'm not seeing any improvement on my face um, which is which is a bit hard it makes makes everything harder when your face doesn't improve um, but from like even from from here down I've seen improvements over this week so um, I'm really happy about that uh, and I'm seeing like my hands start to get better uh, my feet getting better this here is week 10 and you can see things are starting to get just a bit better there's some better skin coloration the flakiness is down even the weeping on my face is down and actually by this week the bases of my feet are amazing like they look almost brand new it's uh, incredible now this is week 12 this is pretty much just only a few days ago and um, even just in the last two weeks there's been huge changes once those infections go from my face I think it's going to be um, really nice um, but everywhere else is still just starting to get to a stage where it, it's just sort of really light little flakes um, and I can't wait to see further improvements so what does all of this cost the, the way that I have justified it is that I've essentially lost out on two years of full-time work so it is expensive, but I've lost a hell of a lot more in the two years that I haven't been able to work full time than I would be would be paying for for treatment. The treatment itself uh, costs eight thousand baht, which is around about two hundred and thirty US dollars or three hundred and fifty Australian dollars. Um, and then the serum, uh, which is a fifty mil serum, um, is about three thousand three hundred baht or maybe three thousand baht. I can't quite remember, but um, that costs about 100 US dollars and about 150 Australian dollars. Um, and I, at the moment, uh, am going through two to three bottles of serum per week, but as time goes on, I use less and less. Uh, other people only use one bottle of serum a week, but with my skin, I just feel like that as I use it, um, I'm generally going through two to three bottles. Um, so <clears throat> the overall treatment itself will set me back about sort of for six months treatment sort of 13 to 15,000 uh, Australian dollars um, and then on top of that is living expenses there's so many places for for people to live that it's actually quite cheap so we're in a, we're in a one bedroom apartment um, which is brand new it's super comfortable it's got all these great amenities and it's in a really really good location um, is only costing us one thousand dollars one thousand Australian dollars a month so maybe around about 650 US dollars or 650 euros um, per month. So it's a hell of a lot more affordable in Australia anyway, hell of a lot more affordable in Bali. Bali was just crazy expensive. So um, in terms of living and food here, uh, you can get really, really good food um, at really, really cheap prices, like three or four Australian dollars for a... Um, I have pad thai and uh, like I, I have this duck and rice meal that I get every day which only costs about three bucks um, and it's so if you can't cook the the food here is uh, is definitely cheap enough for you to be able to live and, and get all the nutrients that, that you need. Why isn't cap treatment working for some people and it was something that I went and had a look into myself I was having I wanted to see why these people aren't necessarily seeing good recovery rates. The machine here in Thailand is much stronger. They're on their ninth iteration of the machine. So they've they've built it up stronger and stronger and stronger and it's less and less less painful every each, each time. Um, so the machines that people are using in aesthetic clinics um, or aesthetician clinics, sorry if I pronounced that wrong, um, and then other areas uh, around the world um, are not as strong. So when you're using the machine, it's going to be, it's essentially going to be slower for you to heal. It'll still help in a way, but it's going to be slower for people to heal. Uh, and then on top of the machines not being quite as strong, the other key element is the, the advice and following the advice to it properly and also getting the right advice. So I've seen people complaining how caps just the worst thing they've ever done and they just were absolutely regret it. Uh, however, I've also seen that same person <laughs> 
um, working out at the gym like a week before they posted on social media and then they also posted on social media them running around on a train touching everything. Like those two key areas of, of our lives, like the gym and public transport and anything really in public is full of cleaning chemicals, bacteria, all kinds of just the worst stuff for TSW. So if you're getting cap treatment or if you're in TSW and you're going to the gym, you're touching everything on public transport or just touching, uh, leaving your house <laughs> quite a lot in general, you're opening yourself up to all different kinds of allergens and chemicals and different things that are get on your skin. And because we are so, 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 so sensitive to everything, it's just, it's, it's going to get worse. And then the other thing, as I mentioned earlier, is the fungal infections. Um, that's a super important part to heal in order for people to uh, c get a proper recovery. Um, so by following those, those elements properly, I absolutely believe, and from what I've seen from everyone else around me uh, doing cap treatment, is they will definitely get to a really, really good level of improvement if you are uh, following cap treatment um, if you're doing cat treatment and following the advice properly. So when will I recover? Essentially, there are uh, four phases of recovery that um, you go through when, when healing from cat treatment and just TSW in general. So the first is essentially what you can put it into is a category of where your skin looks pretty terrible um, and it's sensitive to just everything. And then once you reach around about, and that sort of is in a range of sort of 50 to 80% skin thickness. And then once you reach the 80% sort of skin thickness mark, um, that's when you're at the look good stage. But this stage is a really, really um, misunderstood stage because we think we look good. We think we can go out and start living our lives again um, because we look fine. And um, it, if, it, if it looks fine, then it, <laughs> it is fine kind of thing. But in reality, our skin is still at a really thin rate and we're still reactive to everything in our environment. Um, so that's stage two, the look good, still reactive to everything stage. Um, stage three is where our skin reaches to around about the 90% skin thickness mark. And that's when our bodies are still, still can be affected by things in our environment, but it takes a lot more for us to, to see an issue. And then finally is the 100% thickness, thickness, just eczema stage of, uh, of the, the healing. Um, and so that's when we're back to sort of normal skin. We generally don't react to anything in our environment. Um, and we're only sort of, will react to things like allergens and chemicals um, we won't react to things like alcohol and different food and those kind of things that we eat. Um, also stress and those kind of things should affect us less as well. I hope that gave you a good overview of cap treatment um, and also my personal experience as well. Uh, what I will be doing in the coming weeks is putting together a video of how of, of everything that I've learned about cap treatment and really diving in deep to what cap treatment is and all the amazing knowledge that uh, Jay has passed on to me. Um, so far. So I really want to dive in deep to that so people can properly get a good understanding um, of, of how this all works because I know that this is such an important, important treatment and if we can get some more information out there then we might be able to get certification for the machines to be used in other parts of the world. Right now they can only be used in Southeast Asia. Um, that's all that the license is for. To get it in places like the UK, Australia, other places in Europe and the US, it's really, really, really expensive. Uh, so if there's anyone out there who is interested in trying to get this treatment around the world, it has amazing, amazing abilities to do things. Thank you so much for watching. Uh, please uh, subscribe and turn on the notifications icon um, so that you uh, are able to be notified when I release some new videos about cat treatment and I'll also be continuing to update you on how things are going. Like I can't wait to show you all when I'm at the look good stage because uh, it's just going to be an incredible feeling. So thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video uh, and if you did, please uh, give it a like as well. That would be really, really uh, awesome. So. Thank you and uh, have a wonderful day and happy healing.